What's up guys, I'm back with a new video, and today's video is going to be a bit different than any other style of video I've done, because I haven't really done a video like this or about this topic. So as you can tell from the title, this video is about whether or not you can actually choose which side you spawn on after a demo. So for whatever reason, if you don't know this already, if a car hits you while they're going supersonic, you get demoed, and three seconds later you either spawn on your left corner or your right corner. And as far as we all know, demo spawns are the only RNG thing in Rocket League, meaning you have no say where you spawn at all. So literally everything else in the game of Rocket League you can control, you know, think about it. Uh, an aerial, you control exactly how you want to do that aerial. And you can even control a kickoff or a 50-50. A lot of people think kickoffs are kind of random, you know, and just like random how it bounces out or who wins the kickoff or not, but that's not true at all. How fast you get to the ball, how goal side you are, the direction of your flip based on where the opponent is, all that actually you can control. So meaning you have the ability to win every kickoff if you're skilled enough. So my point is, everything in Rocket League you have absolute control over based on what you're doing with your controller and the exact movements you're doing and all that stuff, except demo spawns. You cannot determine which side you spawn on after a demo. And if you kind of take a step back and think about it, why can't you control that? You're telling me you can control everything in the entire game except this one thing? So I bet a lot of you guys have thought of this topic, but ended up brushing it off. But the reason I'm actually making this video is because of something I saw on Twitter recently. So basically, there's this guy on Twitter named Teda who has claimed to have found a consistent way to control which side you spawn on after a demo. So the clip is of him and his friend Shirio in a private match, both of whom I've heard of, and they apparently show this new way to do it. Roll it. Alright, so me and Shirio have just, uh, we were messing about when we figured out a way to actually choose what side you want to spawn. If you want to spawn on the left or right, so it's no longer like random. So, Chiro, do you want to come demo? So, basically, it's really easily during the animation. What you want to do is just hold one side. So, I'm holding to the right, like that. And Chiro, come demo again. Or this time, I'll hold to the left and come demo again. And I'll hold to the left again and come demo again. I'll hold to the right this time. There we go. Easily. Easy. So that's the video clip, and you can see the method he found out is if you hold left on the D-pad, then you go on the left side, and if you hold right on the D-pad, then you spawn on the right side. So honestly, this seems pretty cool. It looks really sick. I've tried similar methods, you know, a long time ago, just kind of fooling around with the left and right buttons and the left and right triggers on the controller, but none of those actually worked for me at all. So I watched the video, and at this point, I'm pretty excited because this could be a huge thing. So right away, I launched up Rocket League, and I figured I'd just play some ranked, uh, you know, the new seasons out and everything so I figured I'd play some ranked and if I ever get demoed I'll try the method and I'll see if it works. Of course I wasn't getting purposely demoed and there's no way to like speed up the process or anything when I'm actually trying uh, to win games and stuff in ranked so I think it took a few games until I finally got demoed but when I did I tried the method and it worked a uh, hundred percent it worked. So later that same game I get demoed again and I choose left because I hold left on the d-pad and it works again so that's two for two at this point. So a few games later I get demoed again I choose the side I want to be on and it works perfectly. So I don't remember which game but later that night I get demoed again and this situation situation's different than the others because I know if I spawn on the right, the ball will be right to me and I can probably get a direct goal. And at this point, I'm really confident. So I click right on the d-pad and I spawn on the right, the ball goes right to me, I pop it over the defender and I score a direct goal. Oh, I wasn't even recording any of these, you know, I don't normally just record going into ranked matches and stuff, but you're just gonna have to take my word for it, but at this point, Here's when I realized this could be like a revolutionary thing. So now it's been a few hours since I initially saw the tweet and I go back to it and there's no comment saying that it's proven wrong and he even replied to his own tweet proving that it wasn't fake because he goes to his shadow play folder basically showing that the face cam is on the original recording. So after all this taken into account, I think this can be the next big thing and I'll tell you why. So there have been things similar to this which kind of blew up in the Rocket League genre of social media such as the ceiling shuffle or the hell jump. Both of those things were found in 2018 which that's three years after the game came out. But both those things are kind of for freestylers, you know, it's just 
not efficient to do in a competitive situation but for this one and i don't even know what to call it but this can literally change like who can win rlcs this is like just as big as the wave dash or maybe even bigger than that because now if you can control where you spawn you can purposely spawn on the other side of the play you know behind your teammates in rotation so you're not going to be in a weird spot or you can spawn right where the ball is going to be if you're the last man back you know all this kind of stuff and you can at least communicate to your team where you're going to spawn to give your whole team an advantage essentially and I've probably analyzed thousands of replays at this point and plays stack on each other and by that I mean one play you make now could it lead to a goal eight or nine plays down the road so you putting yourself in a position to get a save on one play could legitimately lead to a goal two minutes later so that's the reasoning behind being able to choose which side you can spawn on can be such a big thing. So I'm thinking of all these crazy possibilities and everything in my head, but I had to go to bed that night. But before I went to bed, I DM'd Floomp, and I asked if he wanted to make a video with me tomorrow. And he said he was down, so the next morning we get up early to shoot the video, and here's how it plays out. Alright Floomp, so have you seen that new thing on Twitter, where it's like you can choose which side you spawn on after a demo? Wait, what? How, how do you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, dude, okay, so it's on Twitter. It's, I don't- I forgot who it was, but I'll show you in a private match. Basically, I've tried it before with, like, right trigger, right, uh, right bumper or, or the, on the left side, or, you know, just holding my analog stick a certain way, but it's actually with the quick chat buttons. You actually hold it, so if you hold it to the left, you spawn on the left side. If you hold it to the right, you spawn on the right side. It's actually sick. Dude, there's no- I don't- I don't believe this is real. I'll literally- I'll literally show you in a private match right now. So at this time, I created the private match, and I was basically just explaining to Floom that we were just getting a baseline, just to see if it kind of works or not, so I explained to him what we were doing, and basically, he's gonna demo me, and before I spawn, I'm gonna do the method, of course, and I'm gonna call out where I'm gonna spawn before I do so. By the way, from here on out, this clip is all raw footage. I haven't manipulated the video or audio in any way. I think I added one subtitle to explain things, but but this is all raw footage. All right. Okay, I'm going right. Okay. Okay, I'll go right every time. All right. Let's keep going. All right, let's see it. So you have to like right, so time it right maybe, right? Yeah, I guess so. So after the demo, I'm holding right. Yeah, okay, let's do it again. I'll go left this time. All right, you go left, other side. I'm gonna meet you yeah. over there. I'm gonna meet you over here, buddy. Okay. <laughs> I'll see it. All okay, right, all right. right. No, I don't believe it yet. I don't believe it yet. It just, yeah, it could, like, it could be a coincidence. It could be a coincidence. Someone's got to do the math on this, yeah. <laughs> I just tried to go supersonic and failed. All right, here we go. Yeah, I got to watch some sledge demo tutorials. Boom. All right. Which side are you right. going? Right? Right, right, right. Yeah, dude, it actually works. It's, I feel like it actually worked. Just do like a few more. Let's do like 50 total so we have a large sample size. I'll go left. Oh my <laughs> god. Okay, I'll go back right. And it's, you have to get the timing right, so I wait just a second until I see like the smoke clear, then I just hold it. What? Oh my god. Dude, okay. that is insane. Go other side, other side. Okay, left. <laughs> Dude. Alright, alright, so... What happens if you just like tap it? So just... I was already be holding it, like right now, before you demo me and see what happens. Okay, that could have been a coincidence, so I'll just keep doing it before- Because I want to see like all the discrepancies and everything. I'll just hold left. Before so you're going you to this side? Me. Yeah. Okay, so it already works. So, what happens if you just tap it? Just, just keep demoing me? So I just tapped right into this time instead of holding it? Okay, I still go right. That could be a coincidence. I'll just yeah, let's get a couple more. Alright, so I'll tap right. Oh. Okay, so I go left, so you have to hold it. All right, now hold it. Now I'm gonna tell you which side, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah. I want you to go to your left again, same side. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you have to hold it. You have to hold it. All right. So can you Just do it to me? Do it to me. All right. So that's the clip. And if you think this video is crazy, trust me, it gets a whole lot crazier. It takes quite the turn. Just keep watching. <laughs> and then I uh, go. So I want you to spawn on your right. Yep. Left. I'm going to my right. Uh, I must have done it wrong. Did it not work? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I feel like it. Okay. Let's go whatever way you want and call it out. Is yeah. that the side you want it? No. What? Why is it not working? <laughs> I'm gonna hold it the whole time. All right. Which side? Which side? I'm going to my right. I'm right, still holding left. it. Still holding it. 
I'm going to the left. What? What the heck? I'm actually, I'm actually confused. I thought, I thought it actually worked. <laughs> go, uh, go to my left. You're right. It's sending me to the opposite side every time. Are you, you sure you're doing it right? You're doing the thing with the click chat, right? Not yeah. your bumper or whatever. Yeah, I'm just. Right, I, how how is it working for me then? Okay, so at this point, we're both super confused because I did it perfectly right twelve times in a row when I held the quick chat button like you're supposed to, and now he can barely do any of them right, and I have no reason to believe that mine was luck. So I just figured, you know, classic Flume, he's probably like getting his left and rights mixed up or holding his controller upside down or something. But I really wanted to get to the bottom of this, so we decided to make an actual experiment where I tried the D-pad method we've been doing fifty times times in a row to compare it to what it could normally be like. Alright, holding left. I'll put it to check. Alright, right, check. Left, X. Right, X. Right, check. So here are the results after doing the D-pad method 50 times in a row. 29 out of the 50 times we guessed correctly, and 21 out of the 50 times we guessed wrong. So there's a good chance me getting 12 guesses perfect without ever really messing up in the very beginning was just some sort of crazy coincidence. Because 29 right versus 21 wrong does not seem to hold up too well. And during the experiment, the biggest winning streak I had was just 4. To get some more statistics, we did 2 more trial runs of 50. The next method we chose was me randomly guessing what shot I would spawn on without doing any weird method or without even touching my controller. The results for this one is that I guessed 24 correctly and 26 incorrectly. So that's just about 50-50, so that's perfectly expected. The final trial run we did was similar to the last one, but we tried to eliminate all bias. So we're still doing no secret method, but this time we're guessing for my car to respawn on the left side only. So again, without touching my controller, we guessed the left side only after 50 demos, and here are the results. It spawned on the left side 27 times, and it spawned on the right side 23 times. So 27 times we were correct, and 23 times times we were wrong, so that's just about 50-50 as well. So to summarize the results, I feel like the original video was fake. So I feel like this whole thing was just some sort of hoax just to mess with people like myself, because in their video they just got 4 in a row, and there's a 1 in 16 chance of that happening, so it's not that hard to do. And me originally thinking this was real is because I probably got one of the biggest coincidences in my entire life. So remember, I saw the original tweet, loaded up Rocket League, got demoed 4 times, and all 4 of those times his method worked. The next day when I was actually recording with Floomp in a private match, which you guys saw, I got 12 times in a row using his method when I held the D-pad. So the 4 from the night before plus the 12 we got is 16 total consecutive times of me thinking it was working. The odds of me getting that lucky and guessing 16 times correctly in a row is 1 in 65,536, which is 0.0015%. And I think that somehow actually happened to me, because you can't argue with the results from the experiment which was only 29 times correct out of 50. That result is just too close to the other numbers without using his method. So according to the experiment, his method isn't showing too much of a discrepancy based on the other numbers. So in conclusion, I'm confused. I don't think this method actually works or even helps you. I think I just got super lucky somehow, but feel free to try this on your own and see if it works for you or see if another method works for you. Let me know your thoughts on this below. Comment any methods you think might work or just comment any experiment ideas for new videos or myths you think I could see if it's real or not and stuff. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and make sure to musty flick your way to the subscribe button. Do it. Do it now. We're reading.